right here. Hasbro removes artist signature from D&D movie poster. There are a couple of things about the D&D movie that had seemed odd. So this says Hasbro removes artist signature from D&D movie. Famous fantasy art, fa fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons artist Jeff Easley painted the promotional mini poster given out at early screenings of the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. And it says, finally scored a copy of the giveaway print. They took my signature off the painting. Over a month after the giveaway was made available to fans, the artist obtained a copy of the mini poster. He noted that Hasbro erased his signature from the print. So it says right here, the update on the 30th, which this, when we're looking at news like this, okay, you mean, we know that just because it's in the news doesn't necessarily mean that what's being reported on is accurate. So we always have to take all of these things with a grain of salt. So that's another thing that I had thought about when I'm like, well, if we're covering kind of things, news related topics, of course, there are releases and press releases or Kickstarters. So that's one thing. But when you're trying to figure out what's going on with something like this, the accuracy of any particular report, you, you always have to realize that it may be inaccurate, right? So there was an update here and it says, update 30th April, Paramount Pictures handled distribution for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Paramount or their marketing partners may have directed the remover, removal of Jeff Easley's signature. If so, the erasure is not specifically attributed to Hasbro, but instead this came from their partner with the D&D &D movie. So we really don't know, right? So at some point between the time when the artist submitted this painting here and then when it was actually released as this mini movie poster, his name was gone. So somebody made some type of some kind somebody made that kind of executive decision. On April 28th, Jeff wrote in the fans of the art of Jeff Easley Facebook group that he acquired a copy of the print <coughs> that was first released on March 29. He did not call out the delay in obtaining the copy of his work. Instead, the artist revealed the printed version of his painting had been edited to remove his stylized signature. Jeff Easley's Honor Among Thieves poster, along with the D20 popcorn bucket at AMC theaters, are among the best souvenirs associated with the movie. Taking the artist's name off the finished product robs him of the customary credit he deserved as the author of his work, which might be apropos for a movie that has thieves written in the title. Co cropping an artist's signature out of an illustration can occur when the original image meets the layout artist. Now, certainly that's the case. Because you've got an original work of art, but yeah, by the time things sometimes go to layout, there's a whole lot of stuff that happens downstream that sometimes works of art have to be cropped. I'm aware of that as someone who has done that. I, I don't know that I've ever actually cropped. I don't think I've ever done that. But I'm sure that I've had to crop images that somebody has done when it's being repurposed for something or used for something else or something like that. So yeah, I can completely understand that, yeah, if a work gets cropped, Sometimes the image may, sometimes the crop that has to happen for a particular purpose may accidentally crop out uh, the signature. But every artist working in publishing knows that cropping where the image is trimmed can occur. In this instance, easily signature was not cropped off, but digitally removed. The residue of the er erasure is still visible beneath the E and easily originally resided. Likely done by Hasbro or E1, but I'm not sure about that. Th this says likely done, but then there was a correction up here, right? So we always had to be careful of all this. Somebody, however, the production company that filmed the D&D film, this change was unexpected and arguably needless, an alteration to the original work. So there we have it right here. So it's not cropped, but it's just removed. In this case, removing Jeff Easley's mark contrasts with the signature policy of some Hasbro subsidiaries. Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro sub a subsidiary that publishes the Dungeons & Dragons RPG, as well as Magic the Gathering card game, does not remove artist signatures from the artwork they, they source. In fact, easily provided artwork for the 2021 Magic the Gathering core set Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, as well as other card art over the years. His signature was left intact unless cropping was required. His artwork for the Den of the Bugbear Magic the Gathering card surely, clearly shows his signature. Magic the Gathering goes further in celebrating the artist by listing their name at the bottom of each card. Let's see. It's notable that Watsi's standard Magic the Gathering art policy clashes with Hasbro's, with Hasbro or one E1's handling of the promotional poster. This incident may be attributed to differences of policies within different arms of Hasbro's corporate empire. At other times, this erasure may have flown under the radar were it not for Hasbro's recent history of troubling publicly public incidents like sending the Pinkertons to a fan's house or the OGL crisis. Right, this just keeps stacking on top of stuff. Bank of America's scrutiny over their MTG prices and other heavy-handed decisions, needlessly erasing 
needlessly erasing Jeff's signature is thus another incident to add to Hasbro's list of ill-advised decisions thus far in 2023. Was the OGL crisis was just earlier this year? I was saying, I think that last year, last month just completely blew by. I'm not sure what happened to April with me. But man, that we went through the OGL things only in January. <laughs> what a year so far. Despite the fact the alteration of the printed artwork could be taken as an insult, Jeff Easley's reaction was professional and lighthearted. In the same thread where he announced his signature revelation, he stated that he found this more amusing than anything else. The creatives that work for Hasbro and similar companies cannot control and are not at fault for their management decisions. As with any of the difficulties he's experienced in his long career of working with corporate clients, Jeff Easley proves he's a class act. So update on May 1st. On Facebook, Jeff Easley shared his thoughts of the incident. His point of view and attitude are the hallmarks of professionalism. To be fair, none of the other promo art I saw uh, was signed. None of the 50s and 60s poster arts ever got credit for their work. I would think my association with the early-ish TSR would be the only reason I got the job. Editor's note, both Egg and Gertie are keen to do the right thing and note that while Jeff called attention to the certain reactions to this, certain reactions from fans would make life challenging for the artist. Please be considerate. So, yeah, who knows whether that was directed. We don't know who it was directed by. And that's a, this seems to be a, also a common theme with all of this, that we don't really know who is in charge of decision making, whether that was the OGL kinds of things, whether that was the magic card pinkerton situation or whether it, who who made this call about removing the signature we don't ever really know yeah i still can't understand what they gain for that it's jeff easley his name adds a fair bit of weight but so that see that kind of leads me to think that it might not have been if it were hasbro might not know it depends if i i don't know like it depends on who commissioned that art if it was specifically commissioned i guess that it was but then somebody might not know who he is and not might not know that it actually adds weight to the image. I don't know. That's all I can, or that's one possible way for this to go. So we don't know. Maybe somebody didn't know who it was and thought that it was taking away from something or somebody, some no name guy or some guy trying to take credit or something like that. I don't know. It's, we don't know. At least according to this article.